When we had last left Team Watcher, they had just entered another pocket dimension, but this time it was even less stable and more broken at the whims of Rimmergon's strange and mysterious realm, the White Void. This time, it was a period in a point in time even further beyond the Saints' War. It was a time when the Inguithans were still at the height of civilization. A time when all of their messed up things were coming to fruition. This is Pillars of Eternity 2, Dead Fire, the Beast of Winter. Welcome back. Bit of a short one today, because I'm recording quite a bit later than yeah. normal. If you sure. if you watch Doom, if you watch that, that should be regular period of time compared to Pillars, because that I smartly recorded ahead. Look at me. I'm smart and I'm dumb. <laughs> Let's get on over here. Let's see anything in this. Oh, we did come over here, huh? Man, I am, for real, just dumb. Huh. How about that? All right, let's speed time up over here. Take a peek -a around here. Let's see. Oh, shit. There's some sort let's of spirit dude. I guess we'll follow him. Why not? <laughs> let's see here. Do some of this. Deactivate the trap. I wonder if this one will be as combat heavy as the last one. It'd be interesting if each one had, like, a focus on a different sort of challenge, right? But but I'm fine either way, honestly. Because it's enough that there are different points in time and all that. There we go. Good. And let's do some of this. Man, there are just a lot of traps over here, huh? Let's see. Wow, jeez! Look at this. Oh, fuck. Good thing we disarmed that very quickly. Oh shit, there's a terrible guy right there. I guess we'll roll on up and get him. Let's do a quick save here. Wait. And look there. Yeah, there you are. Is it just you or are you gonna have friends pop out? Probably friends pop out. Let's see, Adair, break stealth, run yeah. after him. There we are. Good shit. Get that going on. Alright, now Vatnir, I'm gonna need you to. Let's try and lay down some Devotions of the Faithful right here. Get that rolling off. Always good. And let's see. Let us actually start off with Exposed Vulnerability. Ooh, no. The odds of landing that are quite slim. Okay. Well, we can launch this. Well, no, we'll wait. We'll just have Aloth do his usual bullshit. Okay. Let's self-buff. Roll up here. Let's fire away no, no. piercing shots. And let's have Yidwin. Can she? No. Man, this thing is resi resilient as hell, isn't it? Alright. Let's swap our set. Penetrating shot. Okay, Vatnir. Yep, you're getting that off. Aloth is summoning his friend. Hmm. Maybe we just try and debuff this dude, right? Trying to hit him with, like, blind and all that? Let's try and do secret horrors first. Doesn't seem like we're getting many ads. A few, though. Certainly a few. Alright. Should we focus on the same dude? No, I think we go after the ciphers here. Let's make sure we pivot our targets. Alright. Good, good, good. And then... Let us try Touch of Rot over here. Perhaps, I think. And by the time he's finished with that... Well, maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe we send out some of this. Spreading plague. No, you know what? Let's actually do this shit. Let's debuff them all. There we are. Good. Let's swap our weapons back. Get this cypher taken care of ASAP. Very good. And can we steal juice from any of them very easily? 68% on this cypher. Is that worth it? What's the chance that we can ringleader them? 78%. Alright, we'll wait for them to group up a bit more, and then we'll do ring leader. You like that? There we are. Perfect. And let's launch it on this convict right here. Looks like Aloth is a little fucked up. That's fine, though. Okay. And let's try and knock down this cypher, I think. As a dare. Something else. Oh, shit. <laughs> we got him on our side. <laughs> we got quite a few of them. Good. We even got the soul collector. Holy shit. 
All right. Let's do a penetrating shot here on this guy. Good shit. There we are. Shield crack is active on him. Good. Let's fire away our piercing bullshit. There we go. That Arcanist is trying to do some no fucking good over there. All right. We're still looking fine. We could try and throw down some healing, but I think... Yeah, I think we're totally good on that. Let's see, we can do debuffs here again. Let's do some debuffs as Vodnir. Let's go. And let's also try and knock dudes on their ass. Let's make this huge... Well, let's make him standard-sized. Right over there. I love if you can hit that shit up. Good. Alright. And fire away over here. Let's make sure Yedwin... Ooh, Yedwin has turn-coded on us. Ooh, fuck, and we do not have our friend Palagina with us to make it stop. Okay. That's fine. Are we still afflicted... Ooh, Adair also turn-coded. Ooh, no! Yo! Alright, and it was from this fucking cipher just as well. Okay. Let's do it. Well, this is a strange group composition, but... I'll take it. Alright, Adair's back in it. He wasn't out for very long at all. Okay, let's reactivate his shielding. Good. And knock this convict. This thing isn't doing There we go. Good shit. Edwin is still under its influence. Let's see. Let's have let's everyone go. on that guy, except for our ranged. Our range should be on either the Arcanist or that other a-hole. Let's see, let's launch a capricious hex over here and make sure we miss Edwin. There we are. Take this. Good. And Vatnir, if you can rebuff or re-debuff. This are. thing isn't doing the job. Got temporarily charmed somehow. Maybe from Alos Wizard Wand. Alright, let's take out this convict. Good. And let's see. Adair, do you have any knockdowns or anything? No. You could try and blind this big fuck. Try it. This weapon's no good to you. Ooh, shit. They just turn on, like, an arcane veil or something? An entropic shroud gives it concentration. Okay. Everybody in the team is ready to go. However, I will actually, now that this guy's charmed, I'll run over and get guaranteed crits on him. There we go. Dope. And let's fire away here. Let's use our penetrating shot. Keep that rolling. This guy doesn't have, like, a cleave attack, does he? I don't think so. Alright. And we can try Mind Plague, or we can debuff him like that. Yeah, let's try some of that. Turn that shit off. Good. That went pretty well. Alright. Let's see, what loot loot do we have? Some mats, and some healing bombs. Oh look, a big old axe. Let's do a quick save. Okay, what is this? Oh, yo, I just picked it up. Okay, no no little interaction or anything. Just yoinked it right on up. What is it? Is it a soulbound item or what? No, it is a standard unique item. But it is a two-handed battle axe. Oathbreaker's End. Let's see. An Adiran lord who controlled a small keep in the Deerwood had this axe forged to ward against any who would undermine his authority. When the War of Defiance spread across the nation, the Lord used this opportunity to consecrate the blade in the name of Wodica, beheading all who suspected of all those suspected of breaking fealty and supporting the rebellion. And let's see. What does it do? Executioner's axe. Two hands to wield, but increased damage, scales of justice. A crit causes the target to take five raw damage per three seconds for twenty-five seconds. And the duration scales... The duration increases when the target deals damage. Oh, okay. Weird. Very strange. Alright. Sure. And let's see here. Found guilty. Oh, this is totally different. Alright. Enemies killed while under the effects of scales of justice deal 20 raw damage to nearby enemies. Okay. And this effect is the same, right? 25 seconds, 5, yeah. Found innocent? Enemies killed while under the effects restore 20 health to all nearby allies. Wow! Hmm. Okay. 
this is pretty good because it, the debuff goes onto the target, so it doesn't have to be the person wielding the axe who gets the kill, right? Anyone can do the killing. This is not half bad. This would be really good for a barbarian. Either, obviously, barbarian multiclass or pure barba barbarian, right? Because they can spread that debuff to everyone, and as the party is getting kills, or they themselves are getting kills, shit is just going great for everyone. Either more damage to the enemies or healing to everyone. Probably would rather the damage, right? Because the healing is subjectively useful. Normally, you'll just have a healer to take care of things. Right? So I think the damage would be more fun. Yep, I totally agree with that. Okay. Yeah, that's a very, very good uh, weapon there. Huh. It is already superb just as well. Yeah, I'm not sure who I'd have used that, though. Seraphin, I guess. Oh, what about sure Constantine? Thing. If we ever have Constantine with us. But we probably won't. Because he's just a sidekick, and I really doubt he'll have any quests involving him, like Edwin. I think the reason why Edwin does is because she was one of the stretch goals for the game when it was being crowdfunded on Fig, I think? To where, at a certain point, she would just become a full-blown companion. Alright, let's look over here. And anything else? Unfortunate that it didn't get there, but hey, fucking, you know, money. <laughs> Ain't that a fucking piece of work? Let's grab some of this. Anything else around here? No. How the fuck is this whole place shaped? Is this like non-Euclidean or what? Is this like all built on top of one another? Is this like towers and stuff? Or is this like... Some sort of non-Euclidean existence of a place like that, um... Oh god, what's the name of that painting, you know, with the stairs? That artist who's famous for, like, non-Euclidean drawings. Maybe their name is... is like Euclid or something. No. <laughs> no. I don't... Oh god, what's your name? It's like... Shimshaw. No, I'm pretty sure that's like a Pokemon. <laughs> Alright, look at that thing. We probably should not go inside of that just yet, right? Let's continue poking around out in here. There we are. Back through this. Zip, 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 zip. I travel through rocks. There we are. Shackled soul, do you have anything to say? I did some weird situation. The spirit remains shackled to the Adra. Her face rises weakly at your approach. Provide the spirit with a mote of conviction. Do you remember anything new? Here, take a mote. You add the potent moat of absolute certainty to the shackled soul's essence, and she gasps as if dunked in frigid water. Her eyes flash gray as she strains momentarily against her bonds and droops again. Do I... do I know you? Have we met? The spirit's dark, heavily ringed eyes search for... search you for recognition. Ooh, insight check. We spoke not long ago. You begged my help. Before this. Before here. I doubt it. It's possible. My soul belonged to an Inquisitor in a past life. Would it matter? That time has passed. No. Never before. Yeah, it is possible, isn't it? Yeah, shit. That was... Fuck, yeah. We used to be a fucking Inquisitor. But that was long, long ago, wasn't it? Alright. Alright. Sure, let's say this, which she probably won't be happy about. The spirit shudders both in form and in position, and recoils against the Adra. But if anything, that also just goes to show how little it matters, like, what your past soul did. Right? Maybe that's the lesson of this area, is like, well, it's either a, a lesson of history repeats itself or history don't repeat itself. Right? Because you could totally play a character who's still just a, like, complete asshole to people like someone who's part of a fucked up Inquisition. Right? Hmm. Alright, continue. I see it. The shackles about your soul. They're in you, the gods. And you, their puppet. Indeed. I serve the gods. I'm nobody's puppet. Least of all theirs. 
One killed me and another brought me back. It's kind of a long story. <laughs> we gotta go with that. Unsurprising. It was always their way. Give and take, kill and save, an unbalanced scale atop of the edge of a blade. Uh, what? Do you remember anything new? The scent of scrolls. Tens of dozens of them, each as inked as it would bear. Centuries of seeking distilled. Whoa. Anything else? The spirit's features twist in thought, then shimmer, growing indistinct. She shakes her head. All right, let's leave. Hmm? Let's head on up here. Three enter stealth, just in case. How might Jesus, I Edwin, how close are you to leveling? Still about the same, huh? <laughs> Whoops. Yes. Let's have everyone here as one. Good. Quietly. And did we actually go through this? We went through this one, right, to get down there. Where does this one take us? Zoop. Pull out my little ring-a-ding. Look at our perp traveling. Ooh, are we gonna pop out of that? Oh no, oh, we're getting another one of these scenes. Right. I wonder if it'll be another trial or a different phase of her going through all of this. Hmm. I wonder what the end goal is here. This is a little bit less exciting now that this is some weirdo that we don't really know. Or do we? What if that's the twist at the end that we did our past life we knew him? But I feel like that falls prey to some of how I felt. The storytelling in the first game fell flat with your past life. Oh look. Yeah, we're back here again. Is this the we same We gather in the sight of Wodica and Wal to thresh truth from falsehood and see justice upheld. The voice seems to echo from nowhere in particular, though the figures before you present a tableau of a trial in progress. The matter before this tribunal tonight, apostasy. The dagger again warms, oozing its thick ichor. This certainly feels familiar. Your words die on the air, as if spoken into a blanket. None of the gathered apparitions respond to them in any way. Well, I thought it was funny. Is, is he always this way? <laughs> that was good. The godlike coughs into a closed hand. <sighs> Yiduin pinches the bridge of her nose, slowly shakes her head and sighs. None of the gathered figures respond. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Let's take on the role of the Inquisitor now. Why not? There we are. Before you, the elf you saw chained above stands bloodied and shackled, her gaze lowered to the stones. Ooh, int check of only nine, which we do pass. You are accused of abandoning the faith. How do you answer these charges? Free the prisoner. She has committed no crime. I don't know what to say. I didn't actually think that would work. <laughs> Listen, all of you. Your faith is false. Oh, shit. See, I'm not sure what we're supposed to do here. This is so mysterious to me. Are we supposed to play along, or... It feels so directionless, and maybe that's the, the point. Hmm. We'll see how it pans out, whether or not it pays off, and this is how we were meant to feel during these moments, or if it's just a misstep. Because I feel like whenever they get into stuff like this, it's, it's very difficult to land, right? I think there's very few things that have landed this sort of storytelling. All right. Let's see. Let's let's play along. Why not? You are accused of abandoning the faith. How do you answer these charges? I bear guilt for many things, but in my service to the divine, I have never wavered. Never once. Hmm. Are we supposed to just enact the exact same shit or what? What say the witnesses? Her many sins are a matter of record. That she denies them compounds her guilt. I've only ever served the gods. What I've done for them, the sacrifices I've made. Liar! Monster! The witnesses provide no evidence of consequence. I'm unconvinced. She is to be released. I'm convinced. 
Let's punish her. Listen, all of you. Okay. Enough of this sham. Yeah, they don't have any evidence, do they? The Inquisitor has been turned! Uh oh. Capture her! She shall pay for her sins! This scene shimmers and breaks apart around you, leaving behind a pulsing fragment of essence, moat of conviction. This small yet potent fragment of soul essence radiates cold surety in one's actions. Yeah, this is so bizarre, isn't it? Is it just me? Am I just dumb right now? It does this like is this adding up for anyone else? <laughs> of course, happy to oblige. All right, let's see here, and this. Ooh, look, we needed. Yo, we couldn't have done this without sure. Widewind's dial. Oh, Shazbot. Huh. All right. Yeah, this is the same dialogue that we've seen before. Okay. Let's hold the dial up. Oh, uh, we don't even have to choose. We just warp it on back. Warp, warp it on back. There we are. Ooh, look, some of the yub nub needles I fell off. Thing. Okay. Look at that. Is that like a... Some sort of... Toe line? No. What's in here? Corroded Vambraces. Okay. Deteriorate. 50% chance after scoring a crit with a melee weapon to reduce the target's weapon penetration by minus one for eight seconds. Oh shit, we need that on Seraphin, don't we? Under the waves of the dead fire lurks a massive crustacean creature with a carapace harder than any kith forged steel. It awaits among the shoals and preys upon unsuspecting vessels foolish enough to venture near its shell. These gauntlets, formed from the shed carapace of the beast, are both light and surprisingly durable. That's cool. I like stuff made from, like, shells and carapaces. Very Morrowind, right? Okay, yeah, we'll hold on to this for Seraphin, right? He'd do fucking excellent with that. How might I assist? Happy All to right. oblige. And is that it for this little section here? It seems that way, doesn't it? Okay. Warp on back in here. I guess we'll give her this other moat, right? Why not? Run this way, run on down the messed up steps. I wonder how many we need, one from each of these portals? I don't know. This one definitely seems important, doesn't it? Looks like a Dark Souls boss is gonna be in there. <laughs> Alright. What's up, Shackled Soul? There we go, here's a mode of conviction. You add the potent mode of absolute certainty to the sa Shackled Soul's essence, and she got- wait, this is the same- yeah, okay. Tis nonsense, isn't it? Just mad, theater. Yeah, this is maddening. I don't really understand what's going on. Sorry, what? Worse, these trials were the height of hypocrisy. It's important what the people see, how they see it, to say nothing. How was it hypocritical of them? I'm not sure. I mean, it's fucked up, definitely. I agree, it's fucked up. But I don't know how it's hypocritical. They didn't have evidence, but does that make it hypocrisy? I don't think so. I think that makes it folly in some way. Hmm. Sorry, what? This Inquisition. An organization of false priests to the false gods demanding supplication to their fiction. Punishing those with the temerity to decry them. Huh. Hmm. An organization of false priests to false gods, demanding supplication to their fiction, punishing those with the temerity to decry them. Ooh. I like the idea of agreeing with her that it's messed up, but also at the same po point in time, it's, it is important what the people see and how they see it. Their perspective is important and valid. Like we've talked about before, although... We know the truth about the gods. We don't want to, like, overstep boundaries and stuff and fuck with people who have built their entire life or systems around this whole thing, right? For good or for ill, right? Huh. Well, maybe for ill, I'm willing to overstep, but... Yeah, if it's bad stuff going on, then I'm willing to, say, to step in, but... I don't know. I, I don't want to come off as being, like, really dismissive and shitty of their belief, right? 
Huh. Because even if they aren't real ass gods, they are. They do have some sort of power to exert, right? Like in the case of Nemnok, like, what is a god? It, it all comes down to that question of, what do you define as a god? Maybe some people, even if they did find out the truth, they would say, "Yeah, well, they're still gods to me. They wield power that we do not and cannot." Whereas other people would probably be like, wow, yeah, they came about this, they became gods in a fucked up way, fuck them, right? There's probably people who would think both things. I mean, still fuck the gods because they exert that power in fucked up, weird-ass ways. But I feel like right now we're passing judgment on the people and how they see it, right? And I feel like they're... Although they, although they certainly perpetrate terrible shit in the name of their god or gods they are in a way also victims of the shit that the gods have done in like pulling the wool over their eyes in a way I'm not sure it's very complicated I think the best way to go about it is to take it on like a case by case basis like here yes what's happening to you is fucked up like, no one should do this. Even if you're wrong, you shouldn't be fucking tortured. Like, no one should be fucking tortured no matter what, but... At the same time, I can't really... Like, it is important how they see it. Like, they perceive them as gods. If you want to fight... Yeah, so th this is, like, the lesson. If you want to fight this, you aren't fighting the gods. You're fighting the people's perception of them, right? If they perceive these powerful supernatural beings well now supernatural beings as gods you need to meet them at that level and fight their belief in them right you can't just say well what you're thinking is weird and dumb because that ain't gonna work it might work for some but it won't work for everyone right hmm like it's it's just such a complicated and nuanced thing and honestly that, that's why I like it <laughs> If I'm being completely honest, that's why I like the very concept of it in the first place. All right. Let's just say it's important what the people see, how they see it. Because that doesn't necessarily... I don't think that denies her suffering. That doesn't say, like, your suffering is invalid or stupid or something. Right? Because I still think that they are fucked up. Yeah. It's important what the people see, how they see it. Indeed. Provided one's objective is control. It seems our heretic dabbles in the philosophy of rule. Tis strange. I recall so many trials. An endless parade of the accused. Was it a kind of punishment? Being forced to watch my fellows condemned? Her features twitch, fragment, and resolve again. Do you remember anything new? The beyond was empty. No gods, no judges. Only his desires mattered, he said. Not else. He who? The beyond is a metaphysical concept where souls go after death before they are reincarnated back into the world. This is also the realm of the gods. So the beyond did exist before the gods came into being. Hmm. But who is he? Only his desires mattered, he said. Not else. Rimmergond? Did Rimmergond actually exist before the Pantheon? Because we were talking about that earlier. Like, how did all of this come to be? I'm not sure. Hmm. Alright, anything new? Nope. Weird that this is still lit up. Okay. Oh, hey. We got a level. Alright. Well, wish. you know what? That's probably a good time to call this one, right? We're doing it a bit short anyway. Let us level up in between videos and all that. Yeah, perfect timing. That way we're all ready to go, raring to go for whatever encounters await us. Let's see. We still have this one over here, right? This weird portal. And that one goes back. This one goes down here. So we have this portal, which will probably take us down to this place, right? And then... Which we've been here. Yeah, it, it'll probably warp us right through here. Maybe this time we'll attack, right? We'll have exhausted all three. 
and then we'll come down through here and then we'll walk over this way and go into this Dark Souls ass portal. Yeah, that sounds like a plan to me. All right, very cool as well that this exists here. That's fascinating. I wonder. No, there wasn't any mysterious sort of interactable in the Bridge Ablaze, was there? That we didn't really understand? That we might get access to later? I don't think so. No. All right. Well, like I said, when next we come back, we're going through that last gateway, and then we'll try to go through this. This looks very similar to the Veedmouth, doesn't it? Or am I mistaken? I can't remember how exactly it looked, if it was brighter white than this. But it sure as hell looks like some sort of Soulsborn shit. If not Dark Souls, maybe Bloodborne? I don't know. Maybe a little too liquidy. You know what it reminds me of? That shit from the White March. Right? When we were at that temple. There was a gateway, and I made a similar comment about it. Huh. Alright, but yeah, it all seems to be leading up to this. Until next time, please, take care of each other.